Okay, I'm not doing these side quests again. Not for the third time. I'm, I'm through with, with that. Every side quest, and you know, we're just gonna do the crystals and. I wish it was like a shut up button for that damn fairy. Not yet! Just a little longer! I don't want to keep hearing that. Like, they should let you just skip that dialogue, because by this point, you know what you gotta do already. Keep going. Her voice is annoying. Are you all right? You just collapsed out of nowhere. Are you not feeling well? I... I... I was frozen in fear. I failed. Failed to protect you. Huh?
This crystal has also reverted. Wait, another here they come. Skip the whole dialogue. Can I... nah. But what would happen if she continued to pray to the crystal even after you took? How many times do I have to explain it? The crystal would be destroyed if she. And what happens if. What? That would be terrible! Man. Well, why can't we just do without its bless? It's not a matter of getting used to it. I mean, without the crystals, we couldn't rid the world of dark. It hasn't worked in two tries so far. I know, but that's not the issue. Besides, if the crystals were destroyed, um, the wind, it would cease forever, and fire would rage out of control. Water would turn putrid, and the earth would dry. I see. <sighs> All right, honey. That's right, because we kept pushing it afterwards. It isn't a cure to rid the world of darkness. Ring a bell! <laughs> Are you all right? Uh, yes. You sounded as though you were in terrible pain. No need to worry about me. <sighs> I've been wondering about something, Ring a bell. Since we came to this world, I haven't snapped at you to stop talking once. <sighs> it was every third word from my mouth before. I... I...
After doing this like twice already, I kind of just want to just go straight towards where the, you know what I'm saying? straight to where the boss is. I don't, I don't even want to do all this nonsense for the third time in a row. Reverted. Wait, something lurks. Another creature back from destruction. Here they come! Ask you something, Agnes. More? What are the crystals? Are they really born of the Vestals? Now's not the time for a lesson on crystal lore. I've never heard the full story either. I'd like. Let's save it for after we awake. The crystals are not born of the Vestals, nor are they creations of the Orthodoxy. They existed long before human civilization arose. They turn hopes and prayers into energy that builds up within them. Yes, I know that part. Ring a bell? You have that I'm in pain look again. If the crystals thrive by storing the prayers of the faithful, what were they before they were objects of worship? I cannot say. The scriptures say not of such a time. Do you know, Eri? The crystals have always been crystals. It's simply a matter of more and more people worshipping them. The Templars spoke on this. The crystals should be overseen by one who looks out for the good of the people, he said. Not some power-hungry cult that has rotted to its core. What exactly did he mean by that? Huh? 
What's he talking about? Someone cared if... I fear I do not understand either. No, it's... Never mind. Apologies. You'd come so far. A pity. Or is she evil? I'm sorry. F forgive me. Sorry. She lives, but I failed to protect her. <gasps> so she Can you hear me? You. Ring a bell. Ring a bell. <laughs> I'm sorry. Everyone, I I couldn't forgive me. Feeling better, ring about Tis, I... I remember everything now. Your memory is back? That's great news! I'm not so sure. But at least it all makes sense now. Will you... tell me? I am Alternus Dim, the Dark Knight. I spoke before of my suspicions that we'd been transported to a parallel world. I've been seeing more and more glimpses of the past these last few days. I remember crossing swords with you, Agnes and Idea, any number of times. And I've witnessed firsthand your death at the hands of a horrible creature. And it wasn't simply a dream? No, a memory from a parallel world, most likely. Do you remember when we first met in Caldisla? Uh, yes. In the world before last. And what did the pattern on Ares' wings look like then? It looks like the number three now, but in the previous world, it was a four. Now that you mention it, how about the world before last? It was a five. I recall it clearly. It's... decreasing? In my memory of you three getting killed, the pattern looked like the number six. And that means... In short, I'm the Dark Knight from the world before your own. I see. The pieces are starting to fall into place. I don't want to believe it, but I think Eri really is. She's... I could only watch it happen. I couldn't do a thing. Ring a bell. I have a favor to ask, Tiz. Please tell Agnes what I just revealed to you. Sometime, someplace where Aerie isn't around. Will you do this for me? All right. Of course. Then you'll believe me? Mm. So Aerie, the Chris Fairy. That's some nefarious means. Listen, why don't we go speak with the sage first? The sage? Whatever for? Sounds like a good idea. 
to the sages. Um, what? I heard. And who might you be? I am Agnes Oblige, vessel of the wind. Ho oh, ho! Little Agnes, is it? My, how you have grown, child. You were scarce more than a little sprout when your predecessor brought you here. Now look at you, a fine woman you've become. Fine and plump and <laughs> pleasantly jiggly. <laughs> Why the long face? If there is anything this feeble old man can do for you, name it. Sage, do you remember me at all? Hmm? <sighs> well, you'd better come inside. Now then, I was about to pour some tea for us. But I fear this may not be the time for sitting quietly with a hot brew. Sage. Let me ask you this. If I bade you come with just one other, would you know why? Yes. Well, this is quite astonishing to think such events were even possible. Very well, then. I will spare you the details and keep this simple. You must decide who is your most then travel to the nearby I'll stop this I shall go on ahead. I would advise you to heed my words. You must bring only one ally with you. Your other companion should wait outside the cave. I shall see you soon. Give the master my res-
There you are. I hope you tell us something different than the first two times. the one you have chosen. I envy him. You... Were I a thousand eight hundred... You're not ready to lay down and die yet. Do you? And I'm the very image of the angel you encountered 1,880 years ago. Oh, I see. I've already spoken of such matters, have I? Now, tell me, why have you two come to me again? I wanted to be alone with Agnes. What? <laughs> you little devil, you! Huh? Uh, no! I didn't mean it like that! At least in the way I think you're thinking! Tis, was it? I thought you were lost cause, but it seems you some fire inside you. <laughs> Look, she's blushing. Put the girl out of her misery with a big kiss off the lip. Please, I'm trying to be serious here. Tis, no, I'm telling you, I really didn't mean it like that. Then what did you mean? Ringabel regained his memory. And not just part of it this time. He did? When was this? Just a short time ago. I'm the only one he's told so far. But he wanted me to tell you something in private. Something he remembered. In private? I did not think Ringabel to be the sort of man to mistrust his comrades. I believe he had his reasons. But what could he possibly remember that would warrant such secrecy? Before we get to that, I'd like to ask the sage about that angel he encountered. Of course. I will tell all the time. Did the angel mention anything to you other than the crystals? Other than the crystals? Hmm. Yes, I believe her words were, I was deceived by the evil one. Her voice was heavy with regret. The evil one? This evil one used deceit to drive the four crystals out of control. That tore the barrier between worlds, she said, opening a way to the world beyond. <sighs> and was this a hypothetical future she saw? No. The angel and her two comrades had stood before that evil in battle that day. It was after her allies were slain that the creature boasted of what it would do. She spoke to me with lifeless eyes, drowned in tears. Uh, what then? As the angel faded before my eyes, she said to me, deliver unto me this pendant when next I return to you. And should I appear before you with the evil one, hesitate not to do what you must to us. You speak of this pendant. And was this evil one the angel spoke of with us when we first came to you? Yes, I dare say so. Then... I could not do it. I could not, knowing I would have to slay you, Vestal. Precious girl. I see. Then, to remove all doubt from the matter, I ask you now, this evil one. Stop! I wish to hear no more! Oh, yes. I cannot bear to hear of matters so dreadful. For if what you say is true, I never wish to put you in this position. But I cannot believe Ringabel would lie to me. Not about something like this. That's why. You trust Ringabel then? I do. I trust Ringabel. Along with Idea. And you too, Agnes. I trust you all. Very well. Then I shall trust in him, too. Thank you. 
We ought to be returning to the others now, Sage. You be careful. Ah, and before you go, there is another matter. One Lord De Rosso and I have studied. Were you aware that should a crystal be destroyed, it will eventually regenerate? What? So long as its core remains, it can grow once more through the power of mortal hopes and dreams. The passing of thousands of years will see it grow to its original size and power. And this crystalline core you speak of? You need look no further than the pendant about your neck, my dear. <laughs> A rather fine gift, wouldn't you say? I'm so delighted to see you kept it safe. Sage! Now, I must leave you, but not without a word of advice. Have the courage to think and act on your own, and have the courage to disobey. Welcome back. <laughs> they... That old fart hasn't filled your head with strange thoughts, has he, Anya's? Uh, Airy, you... You needn't worry about me. He did me no harm. But I'm a Christ fairy, bound body and soul to the Vestals. Of course I worry, and yet you've been pushing me away lately. Christ fairy or not, you've no right to interfere in another's life. What? Wait. Uh, hang on. What? So tis. How was it? Fine. Couldn't have gone better. Couldn't have gone. What's going on between you two? Come on, Anya, so out with it! <laughs> <laughs> say no more, Tiz. No, do say more. What's going on here? Yes, inquiring minds want to know. Agnes and Tiz, are you two really? No, that's not... Yes, that's exactly it. Isn't it, Agnes? You mustn't encourage them, Tiz. <laughs> this is great. Been some time since we've had any good news. I'm gonna get this last now, Crystal. see something. I said it was a pattern on our wings. I thought I could see it. 